goes back to childhood for sure. Like how we got started in the hobby. Mainly my brother Omega. He was definitely the bigger collector of us too. He still has every single one of his cards mm -hmm. from when we were kids. That's right, don't sell any. Never. They're worthless once they get in his hands. Just... <laughs> Whenever I'd go to the mall, I remember just taking my money to the toy store and just buying cards. And then there were a lot more LCSs back then in our little town. I think we had three of them at the time. And we'd go there and just buy cards. When I figured out that I wanted to do more with it than just rip cards, we were at his house. I'd spent $1,700 at Walmart. <laughs> Like I just walked in this this random Walmart to well, was with my daughter. Like we were going to get her some you know things that she needed. I was like, hold on, like come on over here with me. I'm gonna walk past the card aisle, fully stocked. Uh, 2020 mosaic football, just tons of it. Just got lucky. The all vendor must have just yeah, been there. Yeah, but all the people that normally go to that place to get everything just you know weren't there. So filled up the shopping cart. Texting my brothers like, check this out. Like, <laughs> guys sitting pictures like, oh, yeah, the score. <laughs> Took it all to his house. We started ripping it all, and like, I had this you know, epiphany. I was like, Wait a second! Like, what? Why am I spending all this money ripping all these cards? Like, because I had seen some people breaking cards on YouTube. It was, was kind of new to me. I'm like, well, we take all this product and just break it on, you know, break it on some platform. I'm sure we can figure it out. And it's, we got some of these people doing this. If they can do it, we can do it too. And actually, when we first started, I don't even know that we were thinking about building a business so much as just making a little bit of extra money yeah. and you know, it'd be yeah, fun absolutely. and That's kind of fund our, is. you know, purchases or whatever. Yeah, well, I think we were thinking just free cards. Yeah, like, right. Look at your free cards. Yeah, just, we can yeah, pay for the cards we're buying. Yeah, we so. can sell these cards, keep these, rip them. <laughs> so much fun. Then like, yeah. I think our first break we did, we're like, okay, this is pretty good. Let's, right. let's do this again as soon as possible. And, yeah. And we started out, like a lot of people probably were listing our breaks on eBay and yeah. breaking it on YouTube and, mm -hmm. you know, um, kind of that, you know, you know, having like three or four different places, you know, to sell the break, break the break, get paid, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, intro to loop. I, I remember I always listen to a lot of podcasts about sports cars, sports in general, whatever. And I remember seeing Zilla on, it was, I think it was with Ty and, um, I called him and told him about it. I was like, have you have you seen Loop? So I think we both checked it out. You know, we hadn't Had seen not it. Heard of it. Yeah. And this was back in November, maybe October, maybe October, November 2020. Yeah, something like that. So it must have been when Loop first started. And so we checked it out, both became users, started buying, and you initiated the Yeah, I I thought of some reason to email customer support. And I remember I was like, I was like, how do I find out if I'm going to receive the cards that I bought? And Zilla emails me back. So I was like, yes, all right. I'm in the door. Um, and of course it was, we're busy right now. We're sifting through tons of applications already. Email me back at the first of the year. So I emailed him back the day before my birthday in January. It's like, hey, you said to email you back. We're, we're doing a break you know, tonight was some great product. You know, I want you to tune in and watch. And that was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that as you were trying to tell the story. <laughs> that was our first, we bought our first thing off a Dutch auction on Panini. Yeah. Totally overpaid for it. Totally lost money on this break. We didn't wait for it to drop once. <laughs> no, it was, like, <laughs> it was impeccable football. Yeah, it was, it was. Like, I think as soon as it hit, I bought one. Just way overpaid. I mean, it's worth about three times what we paid for it now. But... Right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Lost money on the break, but I still don't know for sure if Zilla watched the break or not. But I remember I'd send him a link to it and he emailed back the next day and I was like, hey, we, you know, I like you guys. I think he did watch it. Like, I like you guys. I want you to bring you on board. So, of course, we're just, yes, <laughs> yes, you know, because we're watching Loop and like, yeah. it's great. Like, it mm -hmm. was so, it's so exciting. Like, it was like, just the app is, is outstanding. Like, the way it was so even back then, like, there's, so many improvements since oh, yeah, then, but sure. even back then, like I thought it was mm -hmm. just the, the best thing that was out there to, to buy cards. That Herbert, the Herbert was probably one of the, the highlights. Mm -hmm, there was sure. a lot of hype around that, that Herbert Stars and Stripes, you know, rookie auto from National Treasures. Um, the thing I remember about that too is 
the adrenaline when you pull something like that. I mean, I couldn't oh, go gosh. to sleep for yeah five or six hours after the stream ended on I mean, that. I mean, it was just like a rush. Pure adrenaline, just yeah. heart pounding, hand shaking, screaming yeah. uncontrollably. Uh, I mean, for me, that was probably my best memory was was that card. 